Hello friends, I'm Nair Sheikh from blog2.com and in this video I'll teach you how to create this beautiful e-commerce website using WordPress and a free theme. That's right guys, we are using a free theme for the first time to create an e-commerce website and we have created a really beautiful, super functional, super awesome e-commerce website with this. As you can see, this is the home page. We have your email address over here. This is the search bar your account page when you click on this you will go to my account page this is our cart you can see there is one item in the cart and the price is 600 rupees this is the menu which we have created you can create different type of menu i have created this one we have given a very beautiful animation to this the color as you can see throughout the website is consistent this is something like the orange color this is our header we have a full width image some text and two different call to action buttons this is the next section here we have three different features free shipping call us anytime our location you can change this icon to anything you want and you can also change the uh, this title and heading and subheading and so on the next section is our product section this is men's shirt here we have three different products and i'll show you how to create this beautiful thing we have the similar section over here the only thing is here we have the products at the right hand side and this thing at the left hand side then we have this beautiful section we have three different columns over here first one is most wanted product second one is feature product third one is on sale product and we have given different color to this button which says add to cart we'll see how to do that in this video and let me remind you again that this is a free theme video so this is really amazing that you can create something like this with a free theme this was not possible earlier but now you know because of competition even free themes are giving so many features now is this is our, our all categories section these are different categories which i have created trends tops t-shirts shoes and so on and these are our trending products then we have our blog section you can create different type of blog you can create different design for blog i like this design that's why i have selected this there are many different designs you can select any one of these this is our footer we have divided this into four different sections we'll see all these things later on this is just a demo of what we have created and what you are going to create in this particular video now let's see our about us page how it looks like so this is our about us page the top two sections are same the top header and the menu is constant throughout the website then here we have a beautiful uh, section over here we have given a different design as you can see this curve bo bottom curve design we have three different features over here you have a short description about your uh, company or about yourself then there is another section we have a video in the middle you can have any kind of video obviously then this is a, a slider a carousel about different companies or different clients you have worked with and obviously the footer remains constant and same throughout the website and don't just get scared seeing the design of the website because the design is very beautiful and many people think that because the design is beautiful it will be very difficult to create something like this but it is really easy because we are using element of page builder and that really makes our job really easy so don't worry about that it is very easy to create a website like this okay now let's see the contact page so this is our contact page again the top two things are same then we have given a very small uh, image over here and on top of that there is a text which says contact us then we have a very important section at the left hand side we have all our contact information at the right hand side we have a contact page i'll show you how to create this contact form you don't have you don't need to you know install any third party contact form plugin uh, for this we'll use uh, elementor to create this form which is very easy we have all our map over here again we don't have to use a third party plugin to create a map in elementor you can also create a map this is the footer one opening our call as useful information and this is the bottom section which says call us now and you have your number you can you know change this text you instead of number you if you want you can put in your email address anything you want i'll do i'll teach you how to do that and it's all up to you what you want on that place now let's see the last section the last page that is the block page this is the block page which i have created there are different designs which you can have in blog uh, i have just uh, chosen this one i like this one it is really simple 
you can change the design also it's all up to you all right guys so this was a very short demo of the website which we have created i have divided this video into five different sections in the first section we'll see some basic things like to getting a domain name a hosting account how to install wordpress themes and plugins in the second section we'll see all the woocommerce setting how to create coupons and so on in the third section we'll see how to create products using woocommerce plugin in the fourth section we'll see how to design the website so every design which you see the menu everything over here we'll see that in the fourth section and in the last section we'll see how to make this website a mobile friendly tablet friendly website so you if you see in the video description you will see many different links many important links all the themes uh, all the plugins whatever i have used all the hosting provider which i am going to use in this video you'll see all those links in the video description below you'll also see some timing chart so suppose you don't want to see the woocommerce setting if if you have already seen my video on woocommerce you don't need to see that so you if you jump if you want to jump directly to designing then you can see the timing click on that timing and you can see uh, only the part which you want to see and before proceeding further make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos with that being said let's get started to create any kind of website we need two basic things a domain name and a hosting account a domain name is nothing but the name of your website or the url of your website for example nayashik.com blogdo.com google.com youtube.com these are all different domain names very important it is to select a domain name a seo friendly domain name the second thing is the hosting account a hosting account is nothing but it is actually a computer or a hard drive that saves that contains all the data which you have on your website for example the videos the audios the images which you have on your website so that computer contains all those information all those data and that is running 24 7 so that anyone visiting your site at any time from any place can see your website so that is basically a hosting account and to for e-commerce website if you see there are many different companies out there in the market that provides hosting and domain both some provide it at a very low price some provide it at a very very high price so it is very very important and really crucial to select the hosting account because this is really important the hosting account which you choose will change many things for example if you choose a good hosting account or a good hosting company you you will your website will become more faster if you select a bad hosting company there are chances that your website will load very slower because of all the features that you that that they give that is not very high quality those are all cheap features which you get for very small price so for e-commerce website i always recommend tmd hosting so just open a new tab and type in blogtoot.com slash tmd and you will be redirected to this particular page and by the way this link is also given in the video description below so you don't even have to type in anything just click on that link and you will be redirected to this page here we are using a cloud hosting not the regular one we are not using any regular hosting we are using a cloud hosting here we have three different plans summer cloud rain cloud storm cloud i'm using this storm cloud i recommend only those products which i personally use and i'm using this storm cloud for for around a good amount of time and uh, you can select any one of these summer rain or storm cloud let us see what are the different features that these companies provide the first thing is cpu uh, ram or uh, cpu and ram so basically as i said earlier that uh, hosting is nothing but a computer which is running 24 7 it has all your files all your data of the website so it is very important to select a hosting account that has a really strong system a really strong and robust computer so this computer which they are using it it has six cores 6 gb of ddr ram 4 so this is really strong it will really boost the performance of your website so it is really important the first two options are really great the third option is bandwidth and it has unlimited bandwidth bandwidth is the base is basically the data transfer with uh, of your website so you can download or upload unlimited uh, uh, data on your website the fourth and the most amazing feature of this uh, hosting provider is it has ssd space 
so basically ssd space or ssd hosting is way faster than the normal hdd hosting which you get for most of the companies most of the companies provide only the hdd hosting they don't provide the ssd hosting if you want to know the difference between them you can just google it ssd versus hdd web hosting and you will know the result okay so here as, as, as you can see i have typed in ssd versus hdd web hosting you can read all these things all these articles i don't like reading much so i'll click on on images i always do this thing just if you if you have seen my earlier videos you know what i'm going to do we'll select the first result and we'll see this uh, difference between hdd and ssd the first one is speed as you can see there is a great difference between the speed of the hdd hosting and the ssd hosting the third uh, the second one is iops higher is better and you can see the difference over here and the third one is latency here the lower is better so this is lower you can do your own research and you will end up with this company only i'm damn sure about that so this third the fourth thing which we were talking about was ssd space and it has got unlimited ssd space so now there are few companies that provide ssd space but they provide a very limited amount for example 20 gb or 30 gb of ssd space but this company is providing unlimited ssd space which is again another amazing thing next feature is website hosted it you can host unlimited number of website with both these pl plans rain cloud or storm cloud so basically what it means is suppose you're creating this e-commerce website so you can host your website on this particular account and in future if you want to create a normal website or any kind of website then you can host that website also on the same plan so if for that website you don't have to create or you don't have to purchase a new hosting plan for that so you can host unlimited uh, number of websites over here you get a free domain for example nayashake.com is a free domain which i got well when i signed up with tmd hosting you also have premium support you have cpanel you have optimum cash you have wildcard ssl this is another amazing thing if you see any of my website they have they all have this SS, ssl certificate this secure socket if you click on this it says your information for example password or credit card number is private when it is sent to this site so this is very 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 important especially when you're creating an e-commerce website you just cannot have an e-commerce website without this you go to any website for example this website the tmd hosting website they also have this thing so this is really important because you don't want your user for for example if you don't have this ssl certificate and if you're create if you have created an e-commerce website then when the user is visiting your website the browser will say that this site is not secure you should not enter your credit card debit card details so that is very dangerous for the reputation of your website then we have cache instance 128 mb performance is three times better than these two plans we have spam expert we have jet backup we have money back guarantee for 60 days so this is just amazing you can select any one of these i would uh, recommend you to select either the rain cloud or the storm cloud don't select the summer cloud basically the main reason is that you can host only one website as you can see over here and here you can host unlimited website so i would recommend you to go with either rain cloud or storm cloud I have signed up with storm cloud so i'll click on storm cloud now just click on this button which says sign up now here you have to type in the domain name which you want for free for example you can type it any anything for example let me type nayashik1 and you can also select any extension you want .com .net .org .us .eu whatever you want i would recommend you to stick with .com that is the most amazing uh, extension now click on proceed now here you have to enter your contact information your first name last name phone number company name address and so on then after that you have your payment information if you want to make payment through credit card debit card or atm card you can select this credit card thing and you can put in all this information over here you can also pay through paypal if you're using paypal after that we have the purchase information here you have to choose the data center location select the one which says nearest to you for me singapore says nearest to nearest to you so i'm selecting this one now here you have to select the period i would recommend you to select at least 12 months or you can select 12, 24 months or 36 months it's all up to you i basically select the 12 month because that really makes it easy for me to remember which uh, month uh, i am my my account is expiring so that is really easy so select 12 month 
then you have domain privacy if you want you can have this if you don't want you can just turn this off now a very important thing which is promo code now here you have to type nayar 7 n a double y a r and numeric 7 and click on apply this coupon code is also given in the video description below if in future this coupon code changes you will see the new one in the video description below so when you put in my coupon code you are getting 7% discount on your order on your purchase and 7% is the highest discount that TMD gives TMD doesn't give more than 7% discount so that is an amazing idea to use that coupon code that is just to help you guys now click on or tick mark over here which says i agree to tmd terms of services and i would recommend you to click on this terms of services and read all their terms of services whatever that it is okay after you do so just click on this checkout button after you click on that checkout button you will receive an email from tmd hosting this is a very important email it has all uh, the important information like your ftp username password your hosting package server ip name servers and so on so make sure you save this email somewhere uh, so that you, you know it is secure if you have multiple email addresses you can mail this to those different email addresses uh, do whatever you think is safe for you but just make sure that uh, this thing all the information over here is saved because it has really important information now the first thing which you have to do is click on this link which says control panel link open this link in a new tab a control panel link is nothing but your domain name slash cpanel for example for me it is nayashik.com slash cpanel now here put in the username and password which you got on that email and click on login okay so this is the cpanel now what you have to do you have to go to bottom under softaculous app installer and click on this uh, app now we want to install wordpress so how uh, wordpress and click on install now from here make sure you select https or select https slash www uh, you should have https only then you will get this ssl certificate over here and from here you have to choose your domain name if it is uh, for the first if you're creating this for the first time you will have only one domain name i have you know uh, created different websites so i have different domain names now delete this wp okay so the directory thing the directory box uh, should be empty it should not contain anything now from here you can change the site name site description you can uh, do this later also so it's all up to you if you want to change it from your you can change it if you don't want to change it now you can do it later also now here you have to select the username and password just don't let uh, to be the admin and password okay change this from admin to any different username also change the password now here you have to put in the admin email address so put in the email address which you have access to now at the bottom you have this button which says install click on that okay so wordpress is getting installed on your website on your domain name it will take few seconds don't worry about that okay so it took around 30 40 seconds so these are two different links this is the website link your website url and the second one is the administrative url or your dashboard so that basically that is nothing but your domain name slash wp dash admin so click on this administrative url okay so this is the dashboard this is the wordpress dashboard your website dashboard now here at the left hand side you'll see this uh, home button over here however that you'll see visit site open that link in a new tab so this is your website and this is how your website looks like at present we have to change this design and we have to make look um, you know make it look like something like this so that it looks awesome so again come back to your dashboard how our appearances click on themes now we need to install a theme to change the design of the website now click on add new it is a free theme which you are using now search for the theme type in t-y-c-h-e tych you don't have to uh, press enter it will already automatically search so this is the theme which you want so click on install now activate the theme once you activate the theme you will see this screen just cut this thing and click on begin installing plugins but before that let's delete all these themes because we don't need these themes anymore we have our theme which we need so click on this theme click on delete 
similarly delete the rest or whatever amount of theme you have over here delete all those things because we want our theme or our website to be lightweight we don't want it to be very heavy so that it will take a lot of time to load we would we don't want that so click on begin installing plugins tick mark over here it will select everything from here and from the bulk action select install click on apply okay so all our plugins have been successfully installed now click on this link which says return to required plugin installer and now we have to activate all the installed plugins so again tick mark over here and now from the bulk action select activate and click on apply fine so all the plugins have been successfully installed and activated now let's again come back to our website refresh and let's see the changes and with this we have completed our first section which was to install wordpress and themes and plugins now in the second section we'll see all the woocommerce settings so see you guys in the second section welcome back to the second section in this section we'll see all the woocommerce setting so if you're following me you will see something like this uh, this widget over here it says welcome to woocommerce you're almost ready to start selling now you have three two different buttons over here the first one says run the setup wizard and the second one says skip wizard now you have to click on this one which says run the setup wizard if you have already installed WooCommerce, you won't see that. That is, or that is shown only when you're using it for the first time. If you're installing it for the first time, so don't worry. I'll show you what you can do if you're not getting that option. First, let let me continue. So here you have first option, which is the store setup. Now here you get different options. The first one is asking you about your store location. So you have to enter the location of your store. You have to enter your state name. For example, I am from Maharashtra, India, Maharashtra. So I'll select India under Maharashtra. Now here you have to enter your address. So I'll just type in Mumbai. You have to type in the full address. Now select your currency. I'll select Indian rupees. This is the one Indian rupee. You can select your currency. What type of product do you plan to sell? I plan to sell only physical product. If you plan to sell digital or both type of product, you can select any one of these. I am planning to selling. I am planning planning to sell only physical products. So I'll select the first one. Now click on let's go. Now here you have to select the payment options. Now what I'll recommend you is just click on inst uh, click uh, click on continue. Don't select anything over here because we'll see all those options in detail later on. Again, just deselect everything from here. This is the shipping option. Don't worry about it. We'll see everything in detail. This is just a shortcut way of doing it. Now click on continue again. The third one or the this option is asking you to connect with Jetpack. We don't want to do that. So we'll click on this link at the bottom which says skip this step. And the last one is asking you for your email address. You know, you'll get some tips uh, uh, regarding your products and so on. We don't want this also. Now click on this link at the bottom which says return to your dashboard. Fine. So whether you installed uh, uh, the WooCommerce for the first time or if you have already installed it, no, it's not a problem. You'll see this uh, link over here uh, at the left hand side which says WooCommerce. Hover WooCommerce and click on settings. Now here we have to see all the settings in detail. So those were the shortcut settings. These are the detailed settings. I'll not go into very much in detail because we I have recently created a video on WooCommerce this plugin so you can watch that video or uh, if you want to get into really detail but I'll show you all the important things which are needed so again here the first uh, option is the address it is asking you your address first line second line city name state postal code the second option is selling locations. You have to select the locations of the countries where you will be selling your products. By default, all countries is selected, but I don't want to sell in all countries. I want to sell in specific countries. So I'll select the third one and I'll select India over here. So I'll be selling only in India. Now here we have different options again, shipping locations. So which are the countries where you'll be shipping your product? So obviously I'll be shipping my, my product to all the countries which I'm selling. So I'm selling only in India. So I'll be shipping my products only in India. 
fine now click on enable taxes because we'll see the tax uh, taxation options later on now this is the currency you have to select your currency your currency position you have different options over here left right so on you can see whatever you like this is the best one left one now click on save changes now click on products from here now here you have to select the weight unit i will select grams because uh, it, it basically depends on the product you're selling i i'll be selling t-shirts so i will not select kilograms obviously dimension unit centimeter is fine now click on save changes click on display shop page make sure everything is selected over here so shop page your you should have your shop page selected over here now shop page display what do you want to display on your shop page so i want to display products default category display products that is also fine now don't touch these things okay these are not really important things and these are uh, you know quite tricky things so just don't touch it this is not needed just click on save changes now click on inventory make sure enable stock management is selected and notification you have to put in your email address so this is the email address where you'll get all the notification about your inventory so here you have to select the stock uh, threshold low on stock threshold so for example if you select five so when your product will reach, reach five stocks in uh, then you will get um, a notification on this particular mail that the stock is low and you should refill your stock and out of stock message also when the product goes out of stock again you will re receive a notification on this particular email address uh, saying that your product is out of stock you should refill your product and so on if you want to hide this out of stock product from your website you can do so click on save changes now we don't you won't be seeing downloadable products over here but if you want to know as i said you earlier if you want to see everything in detail you can check out my video which i recently uploaded on woocommerce settings click on tax now now here the first option is whether you want to enter the price inclusive of tax or exclusive of tax so basically it is asking for example let us see my demo website for example if you see my demo website here the price is 600 rupees so here it is asking you whether you want to include the price of the tax in this so if you include the tax also then this will maybe become 650 or 700 rupees so we don't want to do that we want to show only the price of the product and not the price of the tax we'll see that later on when the person when the person is doing the checkout we want that all the all those tags and shipping option options and uh, different prices to be shown over there so i'll select no i will enter prices exclusive of tax calculate tax based on which address shipping address billing address or shop address i'll select shipping address shipping tax classes okay so at present three tax classes are already created standard reduced and zero okay and here as you can see reduced and zero rate is already added now if you want to add a new one you can do so just and go to the next line and type in the class name for example i will type gst because in our country we follow this gst now again make sure excluding tax is selected from here click on save changes now as you can see we have a new option over here which says gst rates click on that and here we have to enter all these uh, taxation options so just click on insert row first you have to enter the country code i'll put in in for india here, here as you can see you got this option india now the state code i'll put in mh for maharashtra i'll leave this postal code blank because when i leave it blank it applies to the entire maharashtra so when uh, wherever the person is from maharashtra it will apply to that i'll also leave this uh, city thing to blank because i want to apply this uh, tax rate to every city which comes under maharashtra now here you have to put in the rate i'll put in 12 percent you can put in give it any name i'll give it to uh, sgst because in india we are following a gst wherein you have to you know pay a small amount not a small amount that is actually a big amount to both the state government and the central government so this is for the state government or the for the state government of maharashtra 
now if you want to charge gst on shipping for example if you are charging 100 rupees shipping so do you want to charge gst on shipping and you have to charge that uh, because you know in according to the rules which we follow in india you have to charge that on shipping also you have to charge tax on shipping uh, shipping also on shipping cost now what i'll do i'll click on insert row so this was for state government now again i'll put in india now i'll leave everything blank because now i want this tax to be applied to the entire country wherever the person is from whichever from whichever state or city he belongs to he'll have to pay this tax so again i'll put in 12 percent now here i'll type in cgst so basically this rate will go to the state government the cent uh, the central government not the state government i'm sorry so you, you have to do some research and you know, just check out what is the rate which you, which your government is following if your government if you're from india this is basically how you'll create uh, if you're following vat or something like that then you have to create some uh, accordingly now click on save changes fine so these two taxes will be applied on the product now so these were the taxes setting now go to shipping now at present nothing is selected now click on add shipping zone so as i said you earlier we'll be shipping and selling only in india so i'll name it india you can name it anything now i'll select the region i am a shipping to entire india so i'll select india click on save changes now click on add shipping method now what is the method which you're going to follow for shipping if you want to provide free shipping you can select free shipping if you want to provide local pickup you can select that i'll select flat rate and click on add shipping method okay now before going further what i'll do i'll go to shipping classes and i'll add few classes over here so first click on add shipping class let us give a name uh, for example normal product or maybe t-shirts you can put in slugs anything description again i'll put in t-shirts click on save shipping class now add another shipping class so this is basically when you have different products save at present on this website i'll be selling only t-shirts so this is not for me for me only one class is enough you know that is fine but if you're selling different product for example if you're selling mobile phones and you are also selling televisions then you have to create two different class one for mobile phone one for television because if you're if someone is purchasing your product your if you're someone is ordering a mobile you'll be charging a very small amount as the shipping price but when someone is uh you know ordering or purchasing a television from your website then obviously the shipping cost will go up because the product is big and the shipping cost will obviously be bigger the uh, you know higher shipping cost so we have to create different class for that so let us let us type television over here and the slug also tv again tv you have to put in any description for your uh, convenience now click on share shipping classes now go to shipping zones again now edit under india again now here you have the flat rate click on edit now here you get different options tv and then you uh, t-shirts and you also get tv now you'll get this option you have to select the flat rate from here if this shipping is taxable you have to select taxable now you have to put in the cost so for example if you want to charge 60 rupees or that is approximately one dollar so what i'll suggest you don't put 60 rupees only because when you only type in six zero then what happens if the person is ordering one product one cell phone he'll be charged 60 rupees but if the same person is ordering 100 different cell phones he'll again be charged only 60 rupees so that is a problem so what you have to do you have to cut this thing you have to type in a very uh, uh, small code just type in qty under square brackets then put in this uh, asterisk sign and put in the amount for example 60 rupees so it says quantity into 60 rupees so if he if he is ordering one cell phone or one t-shirt or one product whatever product it is he'll be charged 60 rupees if he is ordering 10 then instead of quantity it will become 10 and he'll be charged 600 rupees now you have different shipping uh, classes which we created now here you also you have to put in the same thing so i'll copy this and for t-shirt i'll be charging 60 rupees per per shipping per product now in the in, in uh, for tv i'll be selecting maybe 500 rupees as the shipping cost 
okay so i'll type in qty into 500 now click on save changes so these were the basic shipping changes now go to checkout enable the use of coupons yes calculate coupons discount sequentially when applying multiple coupons apply the first coupons to the full price and second coupon to the discounted price and so on just leave this click on stick mark over here force secure checkout if you should have a ssl certificate for this and we have our ssl certificate as you can see over here so tick mark over here and make sure under cart page cart is selected under checkout page checkout is selected if you have created a terms and services page you can select that page from here now don't change these things just let it be however it is now click on save changes now if you see over here check payment is already enabled so uh, we don't want that so what i'll do i'll go to check payments from here I'll just uh, untick this which says enable check payments and click on save changes and I want to enable PayPal so I'll click on PayPal just tick mark enable PayPal standard you can change the title description and put in your pay PayPal email address so my PayPal email address is realnayar at gmail.com and don't tick mark any one of these this is only for test payments so we don't want to do any test payment now go to the bottom and here you have three different options username password and signature now you'll get all this thing on your paypal account so open a new tab type in paypal.com and at the left hand side over here you'll see the seller preferences click on seller preferences now here you have api access and besides that you have this link which says update click on update now here you have view api signature click on view api signature now it will ask you to confirm whether you ha you are the person who owns this account so you, you can receive an sms on the uh, on the cell phone which you have registered or you can also receive an automated phone call they will give you a six digit code you have to put in that six digit code and after that you will get all this information this username password and signature you just have to copy those and paste it over here i have shown that many different times on my webs on different videos on different e-commerce videos so i'll i won't be showing that again just click on save changes you just have to put in uh, select the option and you'll get all those information just have to copy and paste or uh, paste it over here that is no rocket science okay now let's cut this thing so this was our checkout options now go to accounts you make sure under my account page your my account thing is selected okay and uh, rest everything is fine click on save changes now go to emails and here you just have to make sure that the first three options has your email address as the recipient email address because whenever you get a new order or your order is cancelled or the order has failed you'll receive a notification on this particular email so that is very important click on save changes okay guys so with this we have completed the woocommerce settings these were all the woocommerce setting uh, i didn't go into very detail but i have touched all the important things over here if again i'm saying if you want to see everything and understand everything in detail you can watch the video which uh, i am talking about which i just created let me show you that video go to my page youtube.com slash nayashik.com and this is the video I'm talking about complete WooCommerce tutorial 2018. Okay, so I just uploaded it three days ago. You can watch this video. This is one hour long video on only on the settings and so on. You will understand everything in detail. Okay, so now we have completed the second section also the WooCommerce setting section and in the next section we'll see how to create different products, different type of product and after that we'll see the designing things. So see you guys in the next section. Welcome back guys in this section we'll see how to create different products. So make sure you're on your dashboard, your website dashboard. And at the left hand side you will see this uh, products over here hover products and click on add new now here you have to enter the product name for example we are putting just some t-shirt blue fine now here you have to put in the description this is the long description 
Yeah, let me show you what a long description and a short description is. Let us open any product. Let us open this one. Okay, let me copy this same title from here. Fine. So here this is the short description, these three different lines. These are the short descriptions and this short description will enter over here. So whatever you enter over here will come up on this short description. And at the bottom of this, uh, you'll see this description. This is the long description. You can copy this or you can put in your own uh, description. This is the additional information, your weight, dimension and so on will come over here. And here is the review option. If anyone wants to give any review or wants to comment, they can do so from here. So let's see over here what all are the different options. So this is the long description. As I said, you paste in the long description, this thing, whatever you put over here, will come over here at the bottom of the product and let me copy these two lines from here okay and paste in under short description here also it is written product short description fine so whatever we put in the short description that will show over here besides this product now what you have to do you have to select the category if you have not created any category just click on add new category from here and let us create a category t-shirts fine you can also you can also have a t parent category now click on add new category now from here we make sure a simple product is selected Sim a simple product is just a product which has no variations for example a t-shirt and it is available only in one color uh, or one size so that is a simple product if that is available in different colors and different size then that becomes a variable product okay so we have to select a simple product now let us give a price for example 600 rupees we won't put any uh, sale amount over here first we'll create a really simple product and after that step by step we will see different type of products again if you want to learn everything over here in detail you can watch that video because in this video we won't be covering virtual and downloadable products that is not really important you can learn about this product on that video okay so put in a regular price taxable you can select the tax class we'll select gst from here which we created now go to inventory you can type in the sku sku is nothing but a stop keeping unit basically it is the warehouse you can name it your name your warehouse for example i will just type in wh if you uh, enable this stock management at product level then the user can see how many product is in stock for example uh, over here let me zoom this thing so that you can see everything better over here it says 100 product in stock okay so you'll see you will also see that 100 product in stock so user can see this so for example if you put 100 quantity over here so the user can also see 100 100 over here and when 10 products are purchased this become 90 and so on now allow back orders here you have three different options do not allow 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 but not notify customer so basically back order is when the product is out of stock but you still want to allow the customer to uh, order the product okay so if 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 you select do not allow then when the product is out of stock the product won't show on your home page on the website if you select allow then even after the product is out of stock the user can uh, make an order so we will select do not allow stock status make sure it is in stock now click on shipping weight of the product for example mm, just 100 grams dimension length width height so just put in anything over here 40 50 10 40 whatever you like in fact not whatever you like the product dimension okay for example it is t if it is t-shirt you have to measure that t-shirt and put in those numbers over here now you have to select the shipping class we will select t-shirts when we select t-shirts it will charge $60 per product for shipping linked product upsells cross sells not important for this video if you want to learn about this you can watch that video attributes we won't see attributes now attributes is there in the variable product and this is just a simple product after this we will create a variable product and in that we will see what are different attributes fine now here you have the product image click on select this uh, click on this set product image click on select files now i have given all this uh, images i'm giving all these images for free if you see a link in the video description below click on that link that will link will redirect you to my website blocktooth.com and you can download all these images for free but 
you have to be my subscriber only my subscribers can download that images for free if you're not a subscriber you won't be able to download that so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to download that image now let's just select any image for example let us select this one click on open now click on set featured image so this is our featured image you can also add some gallery images for example this is the main image the featured image and these are different gallery images okay so let us select different gallery images as well click on upload files again now let us select these two images click on open and let us also select this no not select this one now click on add to gallery so we have two product uh, two images in the product gallery and this is our main product image you can also add some tags to it for example let us, you can put in t-shirts you can put in blue if the color of the product is blue so that whenever a person clicks on this tag blue tag he'll see all the uh, products which have this same tag okay so everything is fine now you can click on this button which says preview to see how your product looks like okay so this is how it looks like you have your image over here when you hover this image the product gets zoomed in this is your title your short description your price this is the amount the stock 100 in stock add to cart button you have your different gallery images over here fine you then you have your long description additional information the weight and dimension of the product and review options over here so this is how you create a simple product after you are done with that click on publish now let us see what is a sale product so basically a sale product is nothing but a simple product which is on sale and you can also schedule that sale let us see how here at the regular price we have entered 600 for example if you want to pro provide uh, you know if you want to provide some sale on this then you can put in the sale price over here for example let us put 400 rupees this happens basically for you know stock clearance or in festival seasons so that is really important and it helps uh, in your sales it helps growing your sales you can also uh, schedule this for example if you want to provide this sale only for two or three days you can select that days for example from 18 to 22nd so if you purchase this product within this time frame you'll get 200 rupees discount uh, the product which was 600 you can purchase that for 400 now, now let us click on update again come back to this product click on refresh now as you can see here it sales uh, it says sale and the product uh, this original price is striked out and the new price is over here 600 rupees uh, 400 rupees okay so this is how you create a, a, a sale product now let us see a very important type of product which is the variable product so again click on all products from here so as you can see we have one product over here so to create a new product you just click on this button which says add new but i won't be doing that i'll duplicate this product because when you do so you have to put everything again the title description and so on and i'll duplicate it just to save some time now instead of gray i'll type in black maybe fine so black t-shirt for men simple now we have our long description over here we have the category we have the tags and now instead of simple product we'll select variable product from here tax status taxable tax class gst inventory same warehouse you can just change the warehouse from here if you want enable stock management if you want to okay stock quantity shipping link products now here you have upsells and downsells let me show what these things are if you type in the uh, t-shirt then this is the product which we just created the simple one now let us select this now under cross sell also i'll type in same now i'll show you what these upsells and cross sales are okay now go to attributes now uh, click on add attribute now attributes we have to for example now if you have this product in different colors then you'll put attribute as color if you have this product in different sizes then you'll put size for example let us put color so just type in colors over here and here you have to enter all the colors and you have to separate them by pipe this pipe logo pipe icon okay this is uh, this icon is above your shift button you when you uh, press that shift button and click on that 
pipe icon this is how your product looks this is how it looks like okay you can see it over here so let us type red then okay put in that button then blue and black okay so we are entering three different colors and make sure you tick mark over here which says used for variations and click on save attributes now click on variations now instead of add variations click on so select this one which says create variations from all attributes and click on go click on ok click on ok again okay so it has created three different variations now expand the first one the red one and you have to enter a different image for different product for example when someone selects red one the red product should come okay so let's select this image and let's select this one for the red shirt click on add variation put in the price for example for the red one we are charging 600 rupees rest everything you can put in the dimension weight uh, tax class okay so select gst from here you can see all the options all these options are same okay now let us minimize this red one maximize the blue one now click on this button and let's select this shirt for the blue shirt click on set variation image let us uh, price it at for 500 dollars 500 rupees i'm sorry again tax class dimension weight and so on shipping t-shirt just select everything the same options minimize this uh, select the last one the black one and let's select this one for the black shirt click on set variation image now let us uh, enter the price as 400 rupees t-shirt as shipping class and tax class gst now click on save changes find rest everything remains same click on publish now click on this preview changes button now here as you can see this is how a variable product looks like you have your colors option over here and when you choose different color the image changes and the price also changes let me show you for example when you select red the image has automatically changed and you get 600 rupees over here so price is also changed when you select blue the image again changes and the price also differs black so this is very important this is very commonly used if you see different website whether it be amazon flipkart this thing is very commonly used so this is how you create a variable product now you have different type of product you have group product external affiliate products these products are not very commonly used but if you want to learn more about them uh, how to create those kind of product you can watch that video which i'm talking about Oh okay, yeah, so this is it for this section. This is how you create different type of product. Now uh, what I'll do, I'll create different products. Okay, and I'll meet you in the next section because I have to create different products so that I can show them on the website. And in the next section, we'll see how to design the website. So see you guys in the next section. welcome back guys to the fourth section in this section we'll see how to design the website and as you can see i have created different products already over here if you want to add any of this product to the featured list you just click on this star icon over here okay so this product will be added to the featured list now let's see how our website looks like let's refresh the website as you can see nothing changes it remains the same we wanted something like this but that thing is not happening over here so for that we need a plugin called elementor plugin so come back over here hover plugins and click on add new and in the search bar type in elementor okay this is the plugin we want as you can see over here it has got more than 200,000 install active installs a very good rating 420 people have rated it five star this is just amazing super awesome page builder click on install now now click on activate after this we have to install the pro version so open a new tab type in blog com slash elementor this link is also given in the video description below you can just click on that link and you will be redirected to this particular page now if you click on this buy now button you will see that three different plans the personal business and unlimited plan the first one is personal plan if you have only one website you just have to pay 49 dollars if you have more than one websites up to three different sites 
you have to pay 99 bucks and if you are using a uh, unlimited number of website you have if you have many different websites and if you want to use elementor pro or to you know on all those websites then you have to pay 199 i'm using the personal plan this is really amazing don't see this amount this is really a small amount uh, the 49 dollars is a very small amount because uh, if you see the features that you get with this page builder for example let me give you a very short example if you want to create a really good professional form a contact form or any kind of form you will have to purchase a third party plugin for that to create really professional forms okay so that will charge you around 30 40 bucks but if you're using elementor pro you don't have to do that because elementor pro has a widget with uh, using which you can create really good and amazing forms i have in fact created a video on how to use that widget and how to create really awesome forms so if you're interested you can see that in fact i would recommend you to see my playlist the elementor playlist the link to that playlist will be given in the video description below you can check that out you i have created many different websites on you know different widgets which you, which you get in elementor pro and i have gone in very you know great details for example the menus or uh, the forms and so on okay so don't see the amount the amount is very small as compared to the value you're getting just go go ahead and purchase this any one of the plan you which is suitable for you i have already purchased this one so i won't be doing that again now come to your dashboard and hover click on plugins and now click on this button which says add new and here you have to upload the plugin which you just downloaded once you you know purchase any one of these plans or the three plans which i showed you when you purchase any one of those three plans you will get a file you have to upload that file over here so click on upload plugin choose file okay so this is the file this is how your elementor pro i'm using the 1.9.3 version okay select this file click on open now click on install click on activate plugin now it will ask you to activate your license key uh, you know, to enable updates and to use this plugin so click on this activate your license key and you have to put in your license key you can get your license key at my.elementor.com and here you'll get the license key but before entering the license key you have to activate your website so the third option is activate installs and here you have this button which says view websites click on view websites and here put in the url of the website which you want to add so i'll put in my url and click on add site fine so i have my website over here now what i'll do i'll copy this license from here and paste it over here and click on activate okay so it says uh, uh, the activation is done now what i have to do i have to create a new page and start uh, you know making this website this beautiful website so let's do that hover pages and click on add new now let's name it home and from template select elementor canvas and click on publish now click on edit with elementor now you should see this screen so let us come back to the demo website and this is the first section which we have to create the full width image section and you have this uh, text over here so let's copy this text bring our heading over here so just you know drag this heading in, uh, over here paste in this text so we have men's suits over here now as you can see over here the color is white so let's change that go to style text color select white you cannot see it because the background color is also white so let's first change the background color now if you see the background color throughout is different so what what we'll do we'll hover this and select this thing click on on this thing the blue uh, blue uh, section over here which says edit section because we want a background to the whole section okay now go to style what type of background do you want do you want a color gradient video so we want to add a image to the background so we'll click on classic then we'll select add image okay and i'll select this one if you don't have this image as i said you earlier i'm giving all this image for free to all my subscribers and it is also only available only for my subscribers so you have to subscribe to my channel to download all these images for free and click on that link which is given in the video description below and you can download everything for free now click on insert media 
okay so we can see the background image over here now from the size you have to select cover and again go to the layout option which is over here and from height select fit to screen okay so once you do so you'll see something like this again go to style because if you see over here the background color is very dark and so that's why we can see everything this text and this button very clearly so we'll have to make this background color dark so go to style scroll down you have this background overlay select the first one classic color select black color now as you can see when we selected black color the background has become dark that is what we wanted now click on save now if you want to see how your website looks like you can just click on this button to preview your site so this is how your site looks like at present now again click on back to editor now if you see over here the text is at the right hand side so what we'll do we'll add a new column actually over here so how about this let me scroll it up so you can see clearly so how about this and click on this plus button it will add a new column okay as you can see over here a new column is added now what i'll do i'll drag this column over here because i want this at the right hand side now it is looking much better now i want to increase the size of this text as you can see this is quite bigger and this is really smaller so i'll again click on this text go to style and i'll make the typography on to change all the typography settings the first one is size so let us increase the size so this looks much better this is 58 pixels you can change the font family to anything for example let's select this acme now as you can see the font has changed I'll leave this to default. You can change this to anything you want. You can change the weight. For example, at present it is default. If you want to make this thin, you can select 200 or maybe 400. If you want to make it bolder, you can select 900. Now this is how it looks like. I'll again keep it uh, default. Now this looks uh, exactly like this. Now let's add this which says collection. So what I'll do, I'll just hover here this uh, blue section and click on this duplicate widget so i don't have to do everything again now i just have to change the title okay as you can see when i pasted in collection over here now i can see everything is much better so i don't have to do everything again and again i just have to copy paste and all everything will be done now let's see what we have we have two different buttons over here so before that what we'll do we'll uh, just make this uh column it's much smaller and bring this at the right right hand side extreme right okay this looks much better now we have to add these two different buttons so what we'll do we'll have to add two different columns for that so drag this column over here and put it at the bottom of this collection okay so be now below this collection we have two different columns and we can add two different buttons in both of them okay now click on this button over here this uh, logo over here this dotted logo to come back to this section so that you can add new new buttons over there now from here you have to search for button so here it is button now drag this thing over here now by default you'll see this is how it will look like now we'll have to change the style the first one says shop now so let's type in shop now over here fine and alignment we'll see we'll put it center size will select medium okay center align fine you can also add an icon if you want i don't want to do that you can go to style to change the you know the color of the font the color of the button and so on the first option if you under style is button so if you want to change the typography of the button you make the typography on you can increase or decrease the size of the text if you want to make it default delete everything you can change the font family of this button text also same settings again over here so i'll make this thing off the text color we want white which is fine here it is white the background color we want this color if you don't know what this color is and if you really like this color or whether it with this website or any other website there is a very small and very easy trick right click on that button or anywhere on the website whichever you like and click on inspect now this is how it will look like and here at the right hand side you will see this background color or whatever color you will see just have to copy this color code from here and go to this site and here 
paste in this color so we have the exact same color now what i'll do i'll paste in this color over here so that i don't have to copy this color again and again fine okay so we have our color we have the button now let's create a new button so again as i said you earlier now again i won't be doing all these changes again and again i'll simply copy this button i'll just duplicate this button and bring this button in this column fine so i don't have to do all these changes again and again now i'll select the second second button and i'll do some changes so as you can see over here the first button the color was different and the second button the color is transparent the background color is transparent and when you hover over that button the color becomes orange so let's do that Sec select the second button go to style and this is the button background color will select it. there are two different options the first one is color and the second one is opacity or transparency whatever you call it so you have to drag this second thing to the bottom now as you can see we cannot see anything over there so the background color is transparent but here if you see the background color is transparent but we have a border a very thin white border so let's add that border first okay here you have border border type select solid border width select one okay because we have very thin border so one pixel if you make two pixels uh, uh, or five pixels the more you increase the pixels the more thicker the border will be so i want only one pixel now this looks uh, exactly like this one but when i hover this the color changes and here that doesn't happen so let's add a hover effect now here as you can see by default normally selected now click on hover now select the text color we want the text color to remain white but we want the background color to change to this color the orange color okay now let's change let's see as you can see this looks amazing okay now this is exactly like we wanted the uh, demo website and we'll select this button click on this button go to content and make it left align okay and we'll drag this thing a little bit over here okay so this looks amazing click on save changes always make sure to click on this save button so that you don't miss any settings if you want to see how this website is looking you can click on this x button and click on this view page okay so this is how your website is looking at present it is looking exactly like this so this is really amazing we are going good now let's see this second section which we have to create come back to the demo website scroll down okay now let's add this section again come back to this page and for that first we'll need three different columns so i'll drag this column and put it under this section and i'll click on this button which says add column and a duplicate column i'll duplicate this column three times okay so here as you can see i have one column two column three column and under each column we have two different columns so that is what we want first there is an icon or logo what do you call it so click on this button again to come back to this page and we have to select this icon drag this icon and put it over here now at by default you'll have this star icon selected now we want this truck icon so select this type in truck in the search bar this is the icon which we want and we want to change the color and everything we'll see that later don't worry now you can change the alignment to whatever you like i'll keep it right align okay now go to style primary color now here you have to put in the same color uh, of the website fine size if you want to change the size of the icon you can do so you can increase or decrease the size i'll keep it to 6 uh, 70 pixels you can rotate it you can add a hover effect for example here we haven't done that but if you want you can add a hover effect oh actually the logo color is white so let's make it white okay you cannot see that because the background color is also white we'll change that so that you can see everything first click on save now we want to change the background color of the whole section so whenever you want to do that you click on this uh, edit section go to style background color click on classic select color and paste in the color okay now we can see everything much clearly click on save also go to layout and make this section full width okay so just make this thing yes it will become full width click on save fine 
Now what you will do, we will decrease the size of this column fine to 25 pixels and rest we will add all our uh, headings over here. So again come back, click on this icon. Now bring this heading over here. Now here it says free shipping. So just copy this free shipping from here and type in free shipping over here. Left align that is fine. Go to style. Text color we want white. Make the typography on and let's change the size. Okay, let's make it maybe 22 pixels. Let's make it 20 pixels. Fine. You can also change the weight. If you let, let's make it 500 or maybe 600 is fine. Click on save. Now let's add this text. Okay. On all orders over $90. Again, come back over here. Bring this heading below this thing. Now paste in that uh, text over here. Go to style, change the text color to white. Typography, change the size. We want a very small size. So maybe 12 would be fine or maybe 16 would be fine. Okay. Now change the width, uh, the weight to small. For example, 300. This is looking much better. Now let's see how it looks like on a new page. So let's click on this X button, click on view page. Okay, so this is how it looks like. We cannot see that text because maybe we haven't changed that setting. But if you see over here uh, on the demo website, this looks really beautiful. Okay, but here the we have to bring this the title, the top one a little bit down so that you know we have everything in the same line. So what you'll do, we'll select the first one, the title, go to advanced and delink this. So click on this button so that you know we'll delink everything. Now at the top margin, let's put in 10 pixels. Okay, so as you can see, when we put in 10 pixels, this thing has come down and this is looking much better. Now let's select the second one. Okay, we don't need to select that because now this is looking much better. Click on save. Now what I'll do, I'll delete these rows actually, these columns and I'll just copy and duplicate this column two times so that you don't have to do everything again and again. First click on save, come back to this page, refresh and let's see how it looks like. Okay, so this is how it looks like. We, we have to, we only have to change these logos and everything over here. We don't have to do the same settings again and again. So here it says call us anytime and we have this phone icon. So let's do that. Select this icon and from here select phone. So just type in phone. You have microphone, different type of phone. We'll select this one, the simple one. Now select this heading. Just paste in this thing. Now select the subheading and let's paste in what we have over here, this number. So copy and paste it over here. Now select the third icon. Now here we have this map marker. So here instead of this icon, we'll search for map and we'll select the second one map marker. We'll change this uh, title to our location. Fine. Now we'll select this subtitle. When you select the subtitle, obviously you can see that the options over here changes and we'll select this address from here and paste it over here and we have all the settings over here. Now click on save. Again, come back to this website, refresh. Okay, so this is how it looks like. This is looking much better. Okay, now let's add this section, the third section. At the top, as you can see, first we have a title and then we have this small divider, which really looks beautiful. So first we'll add these two things and then we'll add rest of the things. Okay, so come back to this page. First we have a text. So we'll drag this heading over here. Now let's see what this text is. This says men shirts. So let's type in men's shirt over here. Go to style, change the color to dark gray. So this is the color, the second one. Make this uh, typography on and you can change the size. Let it be maybe 22 pixels would be fine. So just type in 22 over here. You can change the font family. Let's select Carla because that is the one which I have selected over here. It is Carla. Okay, so K-A-R-L-A. -A. Now let's add this thing, this divider. 
So what I'll do, I'll again come back over here, click on this icon. Here we have this divider, bring this uh, thing below the headling. And you have different options, this style should be solid. Now you have, if you increase the weight, you can see over here, this thing increases. So I'll make it four. Now the color, we have on the same color. Okay, so let's copy that color from here. Paste in over here. So we want this color, fine. With now, how long do you want? So I want maybe, let's select, okay, it is percentage. If you want, you can select pixel. And accordingly, you can select this from here. So maybe I want 40 pixels, so I'll type in 40 or maybe 60, let's select 60 pixels. Okay, this is looking fine. You can select increase or decrease the gap. So I'll decrease the gap and make it zero. Okay, if you want to make, if you want to add some negative options, you can also add that. Now click on save. Now if you see over here, the gap between this divider and the text is very small, but here the gap is quite bigger. So what I'll do, I'll select this uh, divider again, go to advance, delink this. So click on this uh, button first and at the top margin, I'll put in 10 and before 10, I'll put a minus sign. Now, as you can see, when I did that, this divider shifted up. Okay, so this looks much better. If you want to decrease the gap more, you can put in minus 20. Okay, so this is also looking good. If you want, you can put it minus 15 maybe so minus 15 is looking much better click on save now what we'll do we'll save this thing so that we can use it again and again because if you see over here we have used this thing throughout the website here it is there then again we have used it over here then everywhere we have used it so what we'll do we'll save this thing so that we don't have to create it again and again so it is really simple just hover it over here, go to edit section and here you'll have this save section, click on save. You can name it anything. For example, let us name it title. Okay, click on save. Now, next time we don't have to create that this title, we'll just insert this title from here. That is really easy. Let's cut this thing first. Now let us add all these products. Okay, so again, come click on this icon, come back over here. And let's search for who products. This is the one. This is the widget which we'll be using. Drag this thing over here under new section. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have all the products. We have four columns, four product count. But if you don't want four columns and four product count, as you can see over here, we want only three columns. Okay, so instead of counts, uh, instead of four columns, we'll select three columns. And instead of product count four, we'll select three from here fine now still you can see that the size is uh, quite bigger over here we'll see all those things later on now go to query now what do you want to show here whether you want to show products or manual products okay which category do you want to show so for example when you click on this i want to show only t-shirts category okay so i'll select t-shirt now only the products which come under t-shirt category will be shown you can filter by featured sale ascending descending and so on over here so click on save first. Now what we'll do, we'll hover this and click on add column. So we have another column over here, but we don't want this ratio. We want to change the ratio. So what we'll do, you, there are two different ways you can you know, decrease or increase this from here. So this is 25, this is 75. If you want the exact same thing, you can select this column and you will have this column with, you can put in 25, sorry. 25 and it will become 25 pixels click on save again come back to this page refresh and let's see how this looks like okay so this is how it is looking like and it is looking much better this is really looking good now again come back over here now let us add this thing and let's see how to make this thing so if you see over here we have a background image we have an black overlay on that and we have some text over here and then at the bottom we have a button so let's do that first we'll need to add some background image so click on edit column go to style background type image and this is the image which we have used select this click on insert media okay we cannot see that because nothing is uh, added in this column so first click on save and let's add something in this column so that we can see the changes come back over here as you can see this is uh, there is some uh, text the some heading over here 
So let's add some heading, drag this heading under this column. And as you can see, when we did that, we can see the image much better. Let's change the heading to save up to make it center align. Go to style and we have, we have to change the color to white. So select text color white, make this typography on and let's decrease the size to maybe 20 pixels. Click on save. Now we cannot see those changes because you know, the background is quite lighter. So again, we'll click on this edit column, go to style again. Okay. And we'll do some changes over here. First, we'll select the position and we'll select top center. Okay. So this is how it will look like. You can select the size to cover. Okay. You can change everything. You can see all these options from here. Okay. Now click on save. Fine. Now let's add an overlay to this. So when you scroll down, you'll see this background overlay. Click on backgrounds classic, select the color. You can add any color overlay. For example, you can add a blue color overlay. You can add red color overlay as you can see over here. I have added black color. So I'm selecting black and I'm increasing this overlay to maybe 1.8. Okay. So click on save. Okay, fine. So let's minimize this. So this is how it looks like. Now, if you see over here, this text is actually in the middle and not at the top. So let's do that again. Bring this thing over here, select this text. There are actually different ways of doing this. Uh, you can add some margin to the column or uh, some padding to the columns are uh, different ways of doing that. This I'm showing you the most easiest one. Click on this title, go to advance and first delink this. Now at the top margin, put in 150 pixels. Now, as you can see, it has come in the middle. Fine. Now let's see. Now let's add this text 50%. So copy this again, come back, bring this heading below this save up to type in 50%, make it center align, go to style, change the color of the text to white, make the typography on, increase the size. And if you see over here, there is a lot of gap between all these things, both the text. We don't want that here. There is no gap between the text. So what we'll do here, you have this line height, just decrease the line height. As you can see, when we decrease the line height to 0.6, the gap now is fine. Now click on save. Now again, there is another heading which says on our gala dresses, whatever that is, come back. Bring this heading again over here, type in this, make it center align, go to style, select white color and we'll put typography as 20 pixels again because we have 20 pixels for this one. So we will use 20 pixels for this one also. Now at the bottom, we have this buy now button. So let's add that you can just copy this thing and paste it over here or you can just add a new button. So we'll add a new button. Click on this button to come back and where is that button? Here it is. Just drag it and put it at the bottom. Okay. Make it center align. Size is small, which is fine. You can put the link over here. So wherever you want this button to redirect to, you can put that link over here. You can change the text from here instead of click me. For example, here it is buy now. So let's type in buy now. Fine. Go to style. Let's change the background color to this color. Fine. This is looking much better. Click on save. Again, let's come back to this page, refresh and let's see the changes. Okay. So this is looking much better. But if you see one thing, the size of this thing, the size of this section is quite bigger as compared to this products. If you see over here, the product section ends over here and the, this section also almost, almost ends over here. So what we'll do, we'll you not know, cut the bottom portion over here from here. We'll cut all this thing because we don't want this big image. So again, come back over here, go to columns, advance and margin bottom. Let's in fact, let's add some margin from all the sides. Let let's put 10 pixels. Okay. Or maybe let's delink everything. We want 10 pixels from both the sides, left and right side. So we have 
right we have left and we will leave that to 10 but we don't want any uh, margin at the top so we'll make it zero and we want some margin at the bottom so let's put 50 pixels now as you can see this has shifted up click on save and let's see the changes over here refresh okay so this is looking much better now this looks uh, uh, exactly like this exactly like the demo website which we have created fine so we have successfully created this section also now we have to create this section but creating this section is very easy because we, we have to do almost all the same things which we have done on the first section so what we'll do we'll copy the whole section first we'll add the title this title over here uh, as you can see over here men jeans so we don't have to create it again what we'll do we'll click on add template because we have already added a template saved a template called my title go to my templates this is the one which you will using click on insert now as you can see we have the title automatically we just have to change the text so click on men shirt and let's make it men jeans copy and paste it over here so we have men jeans now what we'll do we can also just copy this thing or save this thing to use it again if you want what i'll do i'll copy this thing okay now when i duplicate this as you can see we have this section again so i'll bring this section below this title or maybe i'll bring this title above this section okay so let's bring it above drag it and drop it over here fine so we have men jeans now instead of this product shirt we we'll want jeans so click on this product go to query now delete these t-shirts and instead of t-shirts we want jeans so select jeans and we don't want t-shirts so just exit out fine so we can see jeans over here now let's change this thing also okay if you want to change the background color of this thing this column select the column go to style delete this image and let's select any jeans image for example let's select this one click on insert media now as you can see the background image changes click on save now similarly you can change all this text size and all these images and so on and here if you see this section is not at the right hand side it is at the extreme left hand side so let's bring this column over here at the left side that is easy just drag and drop it over here click on save come back to this page refresh and let's see the changes let's see the progress okay let's scroll down now as you can see it took few minutes in fact few seconds to create the same thing because we have already done that and this is a great advantage of Elementor Pro you don't have to do it again and again once you have done it uh, you don't have to do it again you just have to copy and paste everything and it saves a lot of time which is awesome okay so we have created this section also now let's see how to create this section okay so for to create this section first we'll need to import some widgets so I'll show you how to do that so for that you will have to go to your dashboard so come to this page click on over here how over here and click on dashboard you can also just type in your domain name and put in slash wp dash admin and you will be uh, re redirected to the dashboard so here what you have to do you have to go to appearances and click on about Taishi. now here under recommended actions click on recommended actions click on install widget importer uh, plugin uh, exporter plugin now download these widgets okay as you can see one file is downloaded over here now click on activate this widget importer exporter plugin fine okay now I think it will be under tools yeah it is under tools under tools you will see widget importer and exporter click on widget importer and exporter now click on choose file and choose the file which you just downloaded so this is if you if you cannot download that don't worry I have given this thing for free on my website so you can just select this plugin click on open click on import widgets okay so we have imported all the widgets as you can see it says imported imported to everything now again come back to this elementor edit page and refresh this page so that you know we have all these options which we just up, uh, uploaded which we just um, imported fine now let's scroll down 
okay once you do so you you will not see the product over here don't worry about that that is no problem yeah uh, this product will show on your page but this is not showing on the editor so that is all right you just don't worry about that now let's cut this thing now let's add these things over here okay so these three columns most wanted featured and on sale so again come back to this page scroll down and from here you have to select the tie shape products let's search for that okay here it is i guess here it is tie shape products okay we have to put this thing under this okay under add new section so drag the tie shape products under add new section okay you'll have it like this so what you'll do we'll add some new columns so click on add columns one more time fine so this is how it is looking but we don't want it like this we want it another way first we want title yes we want title let's see the first title is more okay fine we don't want the title we'll add our own title over here so we'll select no from here now select category which category do you want to show here for example if you want to show jeans over here you can select jeans now you have all the jeans over here now show product trading the color of the first you have the color for example here if you see the green color button is selected now let's select green okay so as you can see the button the add to cart button has become green now we have to change the type if you see over here uh, the product image at the left hand side and all the button and everything is at the right hand side so we have to change that type so let's select this and uh, let's select the first one product with banner on the left side okay or maybe the second one product with banner on the right hand side okay not this one also product without banner product list select this fourth one product list okay so this is the one which you have to select product list okay so from here you have to select product list and this is uh, looking exactly like we want okay so for again we will add the same thing over here first click on save changes now again go back and again add the same thing from here the tie chip products and drag this thing over here uh, what let's let's do one thing let's copy everything so that you don't have to do it again and again let's copy this column two times okay so this is much easier way now select this second column and we just have to uh, change the categories from jeans to maybe trends fine now select the third category or select the select the, the second category again and let's change the color of this button from green to maybe blue fine now select the third category instead of jeans we want shirts okay or maybe not shirts t-shirts select t-shirts fine now let's change the color from maybe to orange fine so this is looking much better now click on save changes so we have these three different things now we want to add these things the titles and again we don't have to do much for that so we just have to you know uh, add this thing over there so what we'll do here we have to do it some different way because we already have this thing uh, at the top so what we'll do first we'll add a new uh, section at the top so click on add new section and in this section we'll add this template the title template from here click on insert okay now we will drag this thing over here and we'll drag this thing again the this one divider below this okay so this is this looks much better and we'll delete this because we don't need this we'll delete that one now we'll change it instead of men's shirt let's change this to most wanted or whatever category you have okay now again copy this thing now drag this thing over here again copy this thing the divider and drag this divider over here change instead of most wanted let's put feature products okay so let's put in feature products over here again copy this text drag it over here copy the divider and drag it over here so this is really easy it saves a lot of time if i had to do it manually i had to you know waste a lot of time so it really saves a lot of time and that is really amazing now click on save come back to this page okay where is that page gone don't worry click on this x button click on view page 
okay let's scroll down and let's see everything is looking awesome okay here also if you see this thing is also looking awesome really amazing but if you see over here the background color for this thing is different all the background color at the top is white and the background color for this section which we just created is i guess light gray so let's uh, do that let's change that so click on this edit section go to style classic color now let's select any light color if you can you can obviously select any color you can select green black whatever color you want for the background we have selected light gray color so that's why i'm selecting light gray color this looks much better this is ef 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 so if you want the exact same color you can put in this code click on save come back to this page refresh and let's see the changes okay so this looks much much better okay so we can see that these sections are actually divided now let's see what we have to create next now we have to create this thing we have different categories over here okay so these are not products these are categories as you can see this is trends we have four different products under trends we have three different products under tops and so on so for that first we'll have to add image to the category which we haven't done yet so for that we have to go to our dashboard so how are this click on dashboard now under products you will see categories so how are products and click on categories okay fine so we have different categories over here now let's change the uh, let's change the uh, image for this trend one so click on this trend edit uh, click on this edit button now here at the bottom you will see thumbnail click on upload or add thumbnail now let's select this image from here click on use image update go back to product categories now let's add to tops click on add our upload image now let's select this image maybe click on use image update again go to product categories t-shirts upload or add let's select this one click on use image update again again go back to product categories and last one let's see let's add shoes okay select or add image we don't have any shoes image okay let's select this one click on use image click on update okay fine so we have four different uh, categories with image so we can use that now now again click on this icon to come back and let's add woo categories okay here it is woo categories drag this thing over here fine so we have four different categories trends tops t-shirts shoes okay four columns four categories if you want to select order by name this is order by name if you want to hide empty categories if any category is empty if you want to hide that you can just click on hide fine so these are different options click on save now we have to add this title or at the top it says add categories which is very easy click on this add section button to add a section at the top and click on add template select under my template title click on insert so we have our title over here click on men's shirt to change the title now let's type in all categories over here click on save fine now let's see what we have we have this trending now uh, uh, section over here which has four different products so let's add this also go back come back over here click on over this now let's again add pro woo products at over here now let's change the products to maybe which category do you want over here maybe dresses let's see what we have in dresses we have only two products so we don't want that okay let's select tops only three product and that to the image is not there okay fine let's select the jeans only let's select jeans fine now click on save now let's again add the title at the top so click on add section add template my template title click on insert here we have and let's change the title to trending now or whatever you like obviously click on men's shirt change it click on save now let's see okay let, we have some blocks over here for before adding this we first have to create some blocks so let's see how a blog look like 
click on any one of this so there is a thumbnail at the top there is a featured image at the top we have a you know you have a title author comments date and some lorem ipsum tag okay so let me so let me copy all this text over here so this is just a very very simple blog you don't have anything you just have some text if you want to you know learn how to create really you know sophisticated and really professional blog i have a video for that also you can see my how to make a blog website so you'll learn more about that here we are not focusing on blog we are just creating blog okay so again come back to your dashboard and here you'll see post under post click on add new now let's see the title over here is best fabrics for your dream dress let's copy this paste it over here okay and let's see this category uh, is there a category for this yes the category is fashion so let's create a category called fashion click on add new category let's add fashion click on add new category fine now here you have to put in whatever you want under this so we just have some simple text i'll copy this simple text from here and paste in over here and then we have this image as the featured image so let's add that here you have the featured image click on set featured image and let's search for that one we don't have it okay let's save this thing save image fine let's upload that upload file select files select this image click on open click on set featured image fine click on publish okay let's view this thing click on preview changes okay so this looks exactly like that we have a sidebar over here if you don't want sidebar you can select that also under template you can select elementor canvas so you don't have you won't have a, a sidebar over there okay you can do so if you want so this is how you create clear create a post you can create unlimited number of posts if you want now i don't want to create many different posts that is really simple you can easily do that you can use all these things over here bold italic you know bullet list and you can click on toggle toolbar to get new options more options okay this is something uh, using like microsoft word or something now again come back over here now let's come back to this section and let's add post over here fine so this is how it will look like now what we want we don't want the classic we want the cards so when you select cards as you can see this looks let me go to the home page okay this looks exactly like this one now we have more options if you want more columns okay we have three different columns selected if you want more or less column you can select that post per page we want only three to show so i'll select three from here show image yes we want to show image you can select machinery okay so this is how it will look like fine you if you want to increase or decrease the excerpt size so this is the excerpt size if you want to decrease you can put in 15 now as you can see you have only three lines over here you can increase this or decrease this if you want now in the metadata whatever you want to show for example if you want to show date and comment now here if you see date and comments are showing if you want to add more things like time and author you can add that if you want to delete this if you don't want this metadata as you can see over here if you don't want this to be shown you can delete this from here now read more here is the read more button if you want the read more button you want you can click on this you can select the category for whatever category you want to show here badge okay so this is the badge the fashion category is shown fine click on query source post yes we want to show post over here so this is how basically you clear create this thing a post now click on save this is not a very important setting i just showed you because i have added this in the demo website okay guys so i think we have completed the home page let us refresh this page and see everything is fine okay let us see it from the top we have this section we have everything okay the only thing is left is the menu bar if you see over here okay let us 
this is the menu bar and we also have to create this menu bar manually so come back to this page now at the top click on this add section button to add a new menu click on this button to go back and here we have the nav menu select this but first obviously we'll have to create a menu because we haven't created any menu so come back to the dashboard and click on appear hover appearances and you'll see menus click on menus Now you can name it anything mostly i name it main menu that's why you're seeing this option click on create menu now let's add few pages over here we haven't actually created any page so let me first tick mark this thing primary very very important now click on save menu now let's first uh, add some pages and after that we'll add all those pages in this menu okay so hover pages and click on add new now let's add the about us page so type in about us in the template instead of default template we want any element or canvas click on publish now again click on this add new button to add a new page now let's add contact us fine again element or canvas click on publish click uh, click on add new now cre create a page called blog same thing elementor canvas click on publish fine now again you can go to uh, appearances and menus now let's add all these things over there okay so let's select blog contact us about us and home page click on add menu we want the home page at the top uh, the about us contact us and then the blog click on save menu Come back over here now you first click on save everything to uh, save all the settings now first we'll have to refresh this page so that we can see all those new changes over here fine as you can see now we can see the menu at the top now let's see uh, do some changes over there so click on that menu first is the uh, alignment so we want right align as you can see over here it is right aligned everything is at the right hand side so that's why we are selecting right align now here pointer is underlined we don't want underlined we want framed okay now as you can see this is how it looks like but we'll have to change the animation if, if you see over here the animation is really beautiful you have different options for animation i have selected the draw one okay now this looks exactly like that fine now let's see what we have next Fine, go to style, pointer width. So I want a very thin one. As you can see, the green one, the pointer is looking very, you know, bold. So I'll put it only two over here, pointer width two. This is looking much better. Horizontal padding, vertical padding, space between. Now I'll increase the space between these menus. Okay, now this looks much better. Okay, so this is looking much better. Now click on save. Now let us change the background color as you can see first let's change this color uh, the green color to this color so let's copy this color again click on this and if you see this hover color text color will be white so we'll select first let's see the normal color so normally the text color over here is gray we don't want that we want white color as our menu color so we'll select white color from here now as you can see everything is gone because we cannot see the white color background is also white don't worry typography if you want to change the size of the typography size of the font or so on you can do it from there now go to hover now first let's add a background color to that so that we can see all these changes click on save now click on this edit section button go to style okay so let's copy this background color click on inspect we want the same background color now here it is background color copy this cut this thing come back over here okay background type select color paste in this color now you can see all those changes now again click on this menu go to style text color is white fine now we want to change the uh, color of this one okay the pointer color so select the pointer color from here and copy this color 
paste in this color so pointer color has become this now the active one also we want to change the pointer color click on save okay so this is looking much much better now again come back to this page refresh and let's see the changes okay guys so this is really looking awesome now you have all these options now if you see over here we have this option at the top but we are not seeing that over here that is because of a reason don't worry about that i'll show you how to do that first what we have to do let me think what we have to do now okay fine so we have created a home page but this is not actually our home page if you see over here we are getting our domain name slash home page but we don't want this home you know whenever we anyone visits my website they should be visited to this particular page okay so we have created a home page but this is not officially our home page so we will have to make this page as our home page so come back to your dashboard and hover settings and click on reading now under front page first select this a uh, static page instead of your latest page under front page select home click on save changes now what we'll do we'll delete this home and we'll go to the main page the home page okay now as you can see we are seeing the exact same page as our home page so this has become our home page which is really nice which is really awesome okay guys so we have created till this now what we have to do we have to add this thing at the top so we, we are not seeing that because we have selected the elementor canvas we don't have to select that we have to select the default template so come back to your dashboard click on pages now where is our home page this is our home page you will see front page written uh, besides the home page whatever your home page you have selected click on edit now instead of elementor canvas template select default template click on update come back to this page refresh this page and now you can see but there are many changes have taken place if you see this uh, you know all everything is different now you, your home page is gone now you cannot see the home page which you created so we have to do some changes for that don't worry it is really easy first hover this and click on widgets uh, open this link in a new tab now here under this thing you will see widget area 1 widget area 2 open this thing and delete all the widgets from here okay so these are all present by default we don't want all these things so just expand everything and delete it okay so we don't have anything under widget area 2 now same thing for widget area 2a just delete it 2b same thing you have to delete all the widgets because we don't want these widgets we have created our own page okay so this is basically a free page and they are giving you some options but if you use these options you get very limited options you know you know you can create only few things which which they show you and only the way that they want you to create but if you follow my steps then you know you can create any kind of website you want so we don't want these things just delete everything from here fine okay just delete it this thing also now again come back to this home page refresh okay so as you can see okay, those things are deleted but still here this looks again ugly we have this home page over here rest everything is fine but we also have a sidebar we don't want all these things so what we'll do we'll click on customize fine now we have this theme options click on theme options in fact uh, come back and click on front page section front page section ordering and visibility enable front page slider we don't want that we have our own slider so just disable this fine now come back section image you don't want this section uh, uh, we don't want any of this okay so we don't have that but we need to also remove this ugly sidebar so click on this uh, this button this pencil button and you will be redirected to this thing now come back 
now here is if you see everything is added under block sidebar so whatever it is over here it is all under block sidebar so we'll have to delete all these things so the easiest way is to again come back over here and now delete everything from block sidebar okay delete everything from here fine now click on save and publish over here delete everything go back to your website okay so we don't have the sidebar but this thing looks really ugly so don't have to worry about that there is a very simple trick to do that click on this edit page click on edit with elementor okay fine so what you have to do it is very simple just click on this edit section and make this thing full width for all the sections click and make it full width so everything will uh, be all right now select this section also click on this make it full width now select this section click on it make it full width here it is the stretch option stretch section make it yes again this one make it full width select the next section make it full width select this section also and same for this okay similarly for all the rest of the sections so it was really easy it, it, it this uh, problem occurs only because you know uh, free theme has their own design and we are overwriting that design that's why this happens but you don't have to worry about that everything is all right now now click on save now again come back to your website okay maybe just click on view site okay guys so this looks awesome okay we have everything over here now we need to get rid of this thing this one the breadcrumb and this header section we only need the top header section we don't need all these things these are you know just consuming a lot of space we don't need this so i have a, a css code for that i have given that also in the file if you download that file you'll get it for free this is the code you just have to copy everything from here go to your website okay this is it go to this page and select any one of the uh, section i basically select the first section the menu one or you can select this one also the full width section select any section you want okay now go to advanced at the bottom you'll see custom css open that and paste in that code now you can see everything is gone click on save come back to this website refresh and everything will be fine as i said you everything is fine now if you see only one thing is left if you see over here there is a very beautiful border which separates both this section the top section and this menu and here we don't see that so let's add that border also select this section again go to style and here you have border select solid now de-link everything because we want uh, okay actually you can link this put in one pixel select the border color now and paste in this color just let me copy this color again paste in this color now if you see now we don't actually yeah we actually we had to de-link everything we want only top border so we'll add only top border and we'll make everything zero click on save again come back to your website refresh now we can see this beautiful border at the top so this looks amazing we have successfully completed the home page very very beautiful and using a free theme we can create something amazing like this okay now let's create the about us page so come back to your dashboard let's cut this thing let's get rid of this now come back to your dashboard click on pages click on edit page about us page okay again uh, instead of elementor canvas let's select default template click on update now click on edit with elementor okay again if you start creating everything from scratch like we did in home page then it will take more one or two hour for us to create our about us page okay so to create something like this 
okay so to create something like this we'll take more uh, one or two hours so we don't do that we don't want to do that we want to save our time i want to save your time so you don't actually have to create anything over here i am i am giving you free templates okay if you are my subscriber it is all whatever i give free on my channel it is only available for my subscribers so if you go to download those things first it will ask you if you're my subscriber if it will check if you're my subscriber only then you will be able to download that uh, thing so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want everything for free okay so i'll show you how to do that first go to your dashboard okay so let's copy this thing let's paste in over here to go to our dashboard now under elementor you will see my library click on my library click on import templates choose file and here is it is templates it is all given to you select one by one select the first one click on import click on import now okay now as you can see it is imported this is the home page so if you use this thing you don't ha even have to create the home page the home page is also already created okay guys so uh, uh, for last one hour we were creating the home page so if you don't want to do that you can just import this thing and everything will be done for you but i don't recommend this at least you create the home page so that you get the idea of how to create what okay now similarly we can import all the other things now select the second one click on open click on import now so this was the home page i have given all the four pages and we have imported the about us page now let's select the third page and let's see which page is this click on import now okay so this was the contact us page now let's uh, import the last page this will be the block page obviously okay so we have successfully imported all the four pages now come back over here now click on add template we don't have to create any template we don't have to do anything now just go to my template here you have the about us page which we about us template which we just imported now click on insert now as you can see everything is already and automatically created for you you just have to change this stuff for example now if you want to change the about us you just click on about us like we just saw I know what I was showing you I want to change it to my name I can do so I want to change any of these I click on this I want to change the icon I select instead of Facebook suppose I want this address card I can have that also I can click on save to save the changes obviously okay so it is really easy I wanted to save your time if you want to change this our story you can change this if you if you want to change the text just click on over here and change the text from here so it is really really simple okay you don't have to waste your time again and again so this is how you create the about us page now let's cut this thing okay so now let's create the about contact us page so go to pages here is the contact us button click on edit and again instead of uh, element or canvas template we want the default template select the default template click on update click on edit with elementor okay so similarly uh, we'll click on this add template go to my templates now select the contact us click on insert fine so we have a contact us page without doing anything we have everything over here we you just have to change a few things for example if you will have to change the map so click on this map enter your address this is some united kingdom address let me put in mumbai okay so as you can see now we see the mumbai thing if you want to zoom in zoom out you can change the height you okay, know as you can see over here you can change the height you can if you want to make it more zoom you can increase the zoom level and so on so it is really really easy okay guys fine so if you want to change anything from here for example if you want to change your timing you click on over here select this you change your timing from for example from uh, till a 6 p.m. we want till 8 p.m. so you can change that easily you know how to do everything now so it is really easy you want to change anything you can do it easily you can change your number from here click on this change your number from here one two three whatever your number is click on save okay so this is how you create your contact us page now just cut this thing come back to your dashboard Okay, let's go to our dash let's go to our dashboard again go to pages 
so we have created the about us contact us home page now let's see the uh, blog page click on edit click on edit with elementor so similarly click on add template go to my template select uh, block from your click on insert and you have your blog section over here click on save so everything is fine okay so this is it for this section in the next section we'll see how to you know make your website mobile friendly for example let me show you this if you so uh, see this uh, you you'll see that your website looks totally different on mobile okay here as you can see this thing looks really bad you know on the desktop it was looking good but on mobile it is really looking really bad and all the rest of the things if you want to change how it looks on the mobile you can do so in fact that is very important because most on of the visitors on your website will be from mobile uh, according to research 70 percent of the visitor on any website most of the website i should say visit from mobile so it is very very important so in the next section i'll show you how to do that how to make your website mobile friendly tablet friendly so where whatever device the person is using he can you know have the best experience of your website so see you guys in the next section welcome back guys in this section we'll see how to make our website mobile friendly so first click on this edit page button click on edit with elementor okay fine so this is our website so what we'll do here at the bottom you will see responsive mode uh, at present desktop is selected click on that and select mobile okay guys so this is how it will look on mobile as you can see this is your menu now this is how your menu will look like if you want to change how the menu looks like you can just click on this fine so now let's change all these layout options okay so basically this is uh, uh if you go to the bottom let's minimize this this is mobile drop down so we'll see all the changes over here alignment toggle align hamburger whatever kind of uh, thing you want over here now what we'll do we'll go to style and at the bottom we'll see this toggle button we'll do all these changes over here for example if you see the color is not set so we'll set the color to white so as you can see we have the color to white in fact maybe let's do one thing let's add let's select this color and let's select set this color okay and we'll set the background color as white okay so as you can see this is how it looks like and let's increase the size of this menu you can also change the alignment if you want so this is how our mobile uh, our menu will look like on cell phone click on save you can increase the border radius if you increase that this will become more circular let me show you okay as you can see now it has become a circle so if you like this you can have this thing also click on save now here this looks really bad so select this one make it center align select this one also make it center align now let's you know decrease the size so that it looks much better click go to style decrease the size according accordingly for example let's select 43 so select this this one also and go to style and for this also let's select 43 and this is in the middle which is fine but this button is not in the middle so select this button select the alignment center now this looks much better okay so we have it like this now we have to change all these settings so first select this icon make it center align now select these things and make them also center align and okay do uh, this for all the things for all the elements over here make everything center align okay fine now what we'll do we'll add some gap at the bottom or at the top of each of these so that you know uh, we can differentiate it so what i'll do i'll select this section go to advance okay then i'll add some margin at the top so i'll delink everything i'll add top margin maybe 50 pixels okay maybe 50 pixels is more so let's select 40 pixels fine now i'll select this one also and again go to advance delink everything top margin 40 pixels and i'll also add some bottom margin over here so bottom maybe 
30 pixels would be fine click on save okay so this is how it will look on mobile much better okay so accordingly whatever you want to change uh, on mobile you can do so you have all the options over here now click on save okay so let's see this page in a new tab okay so as you can see over here nothing has changed over here for the desktop it remains the same but when you open this website on the mobile phone it will look something like this so this is very very important okay guys now let's see some more options for example you have this footer over here yeah, so footer option then we have some bottom footer let's see all these options so let's go to your dashboard hover our appearances and click on widgets now here you'll see footer widget 1, footer widget 2, 3, 4. So you can change anything from here. For example, if you don't want this meta under footer widget 1, you can delete this and you can have maybe a menu or in this footer widget. So you can just drag this custom menu. You can select the main menu. You can name it anything. For example, menu. Click on save. Now let's refresh this website. And now as you can see instead of that we have our menu over here and here we have recent post so suppose i don't want recent post i want recent products so you can also have that let's delete this recent post and let's search for recent products so let's see tai chi products we don't want this we want simple woocommerce recent products okay here it is recent view products i'll select this and I'll select footer, uh, footer sidebar 2 and click on add widget number of product to show I want only three products to show click on save again come back to your website refresh okay we haven't viewed any pro any product that's why we are not seeing it so let's delete this and let's add some simple product product okay let's see okay let's add this product categories okay let's add this one over here show hierarchy or so okay fine click on save come back over here come back over here refresh and here we have all the product categories so whatever you want to add in the footer widget you can do so now let's see the last option the copyright and the bottom footer widget suppose you want to change this this thing and you want to change this powered by wordpress so for that click on customize and click on over here which says theme options and under that you will see footer and here you have three different columns or four columns whatever you want and this is the copyright text so suppose i want copyright at year 2018 so i'll put in 2018 over here and you can see the changes are taking place over here okay so instead of 2017 we have 2018 but we have some more thing over here we'll see how to do that don't worry now I don't want anything after this. I'll delete everything from here. And I'll just type in, I'll just give a dash and type in made by Nayar Shake. Fine. Now as you can see, this is how it looks like. Now I'll click on save and publish. So guys, this is it for this tutorial. We have seen everything from top to bottom and I hope uh, this tutorial has helped you. If this tutorial has helped you, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I also give a thumbs up to this video. If you have any doubt whatsoever, make sure you give uh, you, you leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. If you have any queries, if you have any request for me, you can request that in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.